everyone! Welcome me to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents Me, Deborah, uh, with some happy mail and an acquisition today. And also, yes, this is the first divine hat I've ever made. It turned out a little bit big, but that's okay. I've got big hair and I don't like tight hats. And these. So I decided to wear them because it is technically fall now. Notice the Halloween sort of themed shirt and this. Yes, those are blingy spiderweb earrings. But that's not what I'm here to show you. What I'm here to show you is first this. this I had already opened it because it is something that I ordered. Um, got this from Abe Books. Looks like it had been opened before but everything is here. It is a Crochet Cats kit. Um, the open little plastic doohickey top here. It comes with the yarn and it comes with a book to make 10 different projects. The yarn is enough to make two of them in here, two of the kitties. So yes, they are all kitties. Um, and it also comes with a crochet hook, which I probably won't use, and safety eyes, and I believe that, and the noses, and a darning needle. So yeah, and these books are adorable. There's got to be an image of all of the kitties. I've already had a request from the hubby for a specific kitty that's not necessarily in here. I need to make it look like a kitty that we used to have and the hubby was definitely his person, our sweet cat Ivan that passed over a year ago. Um, but just look at these two on the cover. This one here on the back. They're stinking adorable and I think that I can do them. And in eight books I got this for including shipping. It was under $11. It wasn't bad. And I just thought it was cute. And it's not just books at Abe Books. They have used books and stuff. You can actually search for crochet kits. Bonus! All right, setting this down because this did not actually come from this. Um, this is a winning email, winning email, a winning mail that I got from Sweet Miss Shondell, Classy Handmade. And I waited to open it. Now granted, I didn't wait long. Uh, this just came in today. <laughs> Sorry about that jiggly there. I just had to pause it because I had to sneeze. And when I sneeze, it would wake the dead. You really don't want to hear that. All right, scissors out of the way so that I don't tear stuff. Oh, good. All right, Shondell, you are good with the tape. Because... Don't want to get into the soft, squishy stuff that's in here with the tape. So I'm trying to be extra, extra careful. There we go. I think I have it all untaped now. There are a lot of goodies in here. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. Little notebook, little journal. It's lined in each page has some little flowers on it. That is super sweet. Love it. I'm going to set these up here. Oh. Okay, first off, this container is also magnetic, which means it will sit on my whip caddy cart quite nicely. Okay, it just unsnaps. Oh my goodness. Little pumpkin stitch marker. Oh, how sweet. This is a keychain from Arizona because she lives in Arizona. That is awesome. That will go on a bag, definitely. And let me get out these stitch markers here. I'm just going to take them out so that I don't drop the whole kit and caboodle because, well, that is likely to happen with me. I am... Not the most graceful bird flying around. These look like beautiful handmade beads. First, there's this one. And it's got a letter on it. It says G, like if you're using a G hook. Lever back. That's awesome because I lose track of what hook I'm using on something when I'm working on a big project. This one with the sweet little butterfly on it says H. Yes.
This one does not have a letter designation, but it is so pretty. And y'all know I may end up wearing some of these earrings, right? Because that's kind of what I do. And here is another one that does not have a letter designation, but with that very pretty handmade bead. And look at this. This is stinking adorable. It's a beaded butterfly. I love it. I love it. Okay, like I said, I'm going to cover these back up because I will end up dropping them. Oh, wait, wait. I think I see a card tucked in the side. Shondell, you are good at packing. You got a lot of stuff in this little box. Oh, this is to Deborah. Happy fall. Got a little stripey bits on the envelope here because I love the fall. Oh, it's hand drawn. How cute. Now this, this was from her birthday giveaway and I'm going to read this out because it's not like, you know, super personal things or anything. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for participating in my birthday giveaway. I made a few handmade items for you. I hope you enjoy. Shondell from Classy Handmade. Of course I'm going to enjoy. Shondell always, if you've never visited her channel, I'm going to have her link below. She makes amazing things. Yes. Oh gosh, this is super cute. And there are awesome bits and bobs in here. I'm going to try to go through them one at a time. Yes! Look at this bag. Y'all, I got another project bag. It's fully lined. And inside, I don't know if you can see from there, there is a little pocket. And this was made by Chandel. Yep. Look at that. Oh. And it kind of goes with and matches that that stuff that I put on. I did not know it was in this bag. I had forgotten. I know that I entered the giveaway and I knew it was going to be great stuff. And then I've slept since then. It it happens. It happens a lot with me. Okay. There is some yarny stuff in here. Look at this. Red Heart Colorscape. I have never had any of that. Wow. That's actually quite soft. Uh, 100 grams, 171 meters. Does it, does it have the... Uh, Dublin is the color name on there. All right, it's a four weight. All the usual things for four weight. And it's got some pretty fuzz to it. And it looks like it is roving. Okay, I, yes, I'm doing a happy dance, okay? Sue me. I love yarny, happy things. And these are Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday Plaid. Wow, it says Planned Pooling. The color is Red Berry Plaid. It's a medium four weight, uh, made in Turkey, 100% anti-pilling acrylic. Look at how beautiful those colors are. Oh, I like that. And it shows you a scarf on there. I don't know if I will have any luck making a plaid out of this, but gosh, I love these colors. They are gorgeous. Okay, don't move. Stay there. Ah! Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is Classy Handmade Pin Cushion by Chandel. Thank you. Look at this little guy. Oh my gosh, he's got like, he's embroidered on there. Look, my little turtle dude. And he's even got little toes. I love these cute little things like this. He is adorable. I don't know why he's a he, but he he's a he wearing beautiful flowers and a very cute bow. Thank you. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, I've got to find a better place for him. We've got a tin. It says prayer box. Give it to God. Oh, this is cute. And there's a scripture in there and it's got a little pen or is it a pencil? Either way, it is a writing instrument and a little pad of paper that matches. How sweet is that? 
That is darling. Put down your thoughts and let it go. Oh, and I see some candies in here. I'm going to leave that tilt for a minute here. Two pocket scissor sheath. Pink plaid, y'all. Yes! Okay, I have seen these around online. I have loved them and said, oh, I wish I had some. Now I got some. Now I have them. They go in this little pocket here. And then there's another pocket up front where you can put some other stuff if you like right there. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Super cute. Okay, I am running out of room on my little shelf back here. Oh, yes, I remember this. I remember you showing this, and I thought that would be so much fun. If you're not familiar with uh, Jonah Larson, he is this young, young gentleman who is like a crochet machine, and he also now has kits in the stores, and this is a um, crochet mug cozy kit. It says for ages 10 plus. I've got, I've, I, I'm 10 with over 40 years experience, so maybe I can get this one figured out. But yeah, that is super cute. Look at the little, it's like a little puppy cozy. Oh, has all the stuff in it. It even comes with a crochet hook, the buttons, some thread, instructions, always important. Yes, loving this. I'm gonna set this right here. And I saw this near the bottom of the box and I figured I would wait until the end because, oh my, chocolate truffles. Ah! I feel like it's my birthday, not yours, Shondell. Hello. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love truffles. Look at all the different flavors in here. There's peach passion fruit yogurt, raspberry yogurt, sea salt caramel, white vanilla, strawberry rhubarb, coconut, cheesecake mandarin, and I think that means chocolate mousse, mousse au chocolat. I, I'm, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. But uh, wow, European chocolate truffles. How awesome. And they're made in Germany. I might use this on a uh, taste around the world just because, oh, but I might not be able to wait that long. Shondell, you have outdone yourself. I am, I feel totally spoiled and it was your birthday, not mine. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks to everybody for tuning in because this is some fun yarny stuff and crafty stuff and chocolate stuff. And um, I just appreciate you coming and sharing it with me. Please hit the like, subscribe, all the usual YouTube stuff. Leave me a comment below and I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye now. <laughs>